Hey, 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 survivors. Welcome to VLFR Gaming. Today, we're on PTR 2.0, and we're here to talk about our new Plasma 13 troops and, most importantly, the Special Force Engine Skills. It's not an easy word for a French speaker. Engine means a disease in French. So, we have skills that we need to craft, and we have a skill factory for that. You know this system for many games, often, it's about accessories or shields, but here is skills. How do we get them? Well, you need crystals, but we're not sure how to obtain them yet. It's probably through packs. This is the dark side, as I mentioned from the beginning. Plasma 13 doesn't seem very expensive, but this is where it will cost us. So, we need crystals, probably through packs. The good side is that you get a free craft every three minutes, which is cool. You can craft for 10 crystals or 100. Once you craft it, you can choose what you want. For example, I've already maxed everything for the video, so I checked everything I didn't want. This gives me crystals, but be careful. If you spend 100 crystals, you only get back 50. It won't fully reimburse what you use. It's just a compensation. If you don't want them, you'll get a few crystals. As for me, a fervent fan of health and lethality, I started with health. I crafted 10, then 100. You mostly get level 1 skills, occasionally level 2, but it's rare. You won't get many more, I'm telling you. I tried with 200,000 crystals, but I didn't get many. Once you've collected them, you select them. For health, you need 3 level 1 skills to upgrade to level 2, and so on, up to level 7, which is the maximum for all skills, attack, defense, health, and lethality. As you can see, I haven't finished level 7 yet. We have two different skills. Troops type hero final damage and troops type hero final damage taken reduction. My advice is not to focus on attack and defense as they aren't the most important in statistics and algorithms. Health and lethality are crucial, given their rarity. So, I suggest not crafting attack and defense skills. I'm going to block them to never have them and focus on health. Lethality and the two unknown ones. You can install only four different skills. You can have four lethality, four health, or two of each. It has to be one of each, one lethality, one attack, one health, and one defense, which is what I have for now, as I haven't maxed out the weird skills yet. So far, we have the table. I'll show you the statistics table for all levels once we finish leveling up. You need to do this for all your barracks. And trust me, it's been crazy. We spent around 10 hours taking turns to do it. It wasn't meant to be maxed out in 5 minutes. We have months of work, months of packs. It's the dark side, the hidden side, even my underwear. It's the hidden side, the dirty side. It's going to hurt, really hurt. The final statistics are just enormous. You get 168% attack and 168% defense. Like the difference between a Gen 13 and a Gen 14 hero, where there's often a 150% or 200% difference. This will add statistics specifically for the selected troops, like 168% for riders, hunters, or infantry, depending on where you position them. Health and lethality are very important, with 100%. Top players will end up with 1700% health and lethality. It's just enormous. It's more than double that of a free-to-play player. The difference will be massive, and it will require time, money, and effort to put into these skills. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this first video guide. I'll come back to you once we finish the remaining two skills. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. Let us know what you think of these new skills. If you don't want me to come and burn you, have a great evening and a good day. Ciao, ciao, survivors.